What up guys, Alex here, GuitarForest.com. So as you can see today, we're going to take a look at part one of Message of Love by Jimi Hendrix, the band of gypsies. And it's taken from the uh, Life at the Fillmore East version uh, that they played in 1970. It's off of the, um, the double CD which came out later on. And um, it was requested and supported by James, so huge thanks goes out to him for the support. And like I mentioned, this is going to be just part one of the lesson. The entire, the full, complete lesson is going to be available at guitarforce.com. The link is going to be in the description box down below. And I'm going to cover note for note all of the uh, uh, parts which are in this song. So the intro, the four verses, the um, two solos, the interludes, the outro, it's all going to be there. And also you're going to get... Um, uh, the tabs in PDF format, the backing track, the lesson is uh, really long, it's about an hour, almost an hour and a half, it's because uh, so many parts are in there and it's all going to be broken down in that lesson. Um, also, the lesson is going to be available at a discounted price and the discount will work until the end of uh, this week, so by the end of this Sunday you can get it at a cheaper price, so if you're interested check it out. And uh, also, uh, while we're talking about Jimi Hendrix, I have to mention my course if you haven't had a chance to check it out, which is called Get Experienced. It's a huge lesson in two parts. Um, it's got a ton of information in there. Uh, also, if you're interested, check out the links, links in the description box down below. You can get a, a short video explaining all of the things uh, covered in that course. Um, back to the lesson, uh, we're going to be in half step down tuning on all the strings and for the uh, sound I was using the VST plugin guitar rig as usual. I'm going to show you the picture of the preset right now. While you are checking it out, I'm going to play you my low E string so you can uh, tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's go for the close-up and start the lesson. Alright, so we're gonna break up this song into parts and the first part, the intro goes like this. <laughs> Okay, so what we have here, first of all, we start off with a slide out on the low E string and then we go into octaves, uh, starting off with the A octave, so we have open A string and uh, the octave second fret on the G. And we have this chromatic build up that we play. The first two bars we're going to be playing each of the octaves uh, two eighth notes. So we play twice two eighth notes and we go chromatically. So each fret. When you get to the eighth fret on the A and ten on the G string, we go into sixteenth notes. So now we're going to be playing four notes of the of each octave, and we continue playing it chromatically. So each fret. And then when we reach the 15th fret, 
on the A and 17 on G, which simply slide out. So we have. And then we go into the next part of the intro. We have four bar of four bars of these, and uh, the whole progression here is based on the verses as well. So um, generally speaking, what we have here uh, for the verses as well, we have uh, one bar which consists of three chords, which is C, G, D. So we have. And then we have G to D. So that's the whole progression for the verses. Now, uh, uh, Jimmy obviously you know played different uh, variations here and there, and in this version in the Fillmore East, uh, instead of playing the C chord like that, he plays it slightly differently. He plays it like this kind of using octaves. So we have on the D and the G strings 10 frets and on the high E and the B strings 13. So each octave is kind of doubled up. So um, we play this sh uh, shape of the C chord but then when we go to the G instead of using this shape he simply takes the, sh the first shape and, and shifts it down one fret. So we have like that and then back to the to the D here. So in this instance the um, when we play the intro we have a few fills going on in between the chords. So I'm going to show you first how it, it is it is played and then I'm going to explain. So it goes like this. So this is the first part. So we have the two chords going on C to G like that. Then we have two dead strings and then we have so sliding to the 14th fret on the A string, 12th on D and then playing the D chord like that. Then the second part so here we play the G chord first then we have a quick run like that so it's on the 10th fret uh, on the A string, then 13 to 10 on the low E. And then you let ring out the D notes and you add. Here we're going to be adding some trills. So it's happening on the uh, between 10 and 11 fret on the G string, the uh, minor to the major third. And as you trill, we add the high E string on the 10th fret. It's sort of like a, the part of the D chord. So we have... And we do it twice. Like that. So, again, one more time. The, both bars together. Slowly it's going to be like this. Then the second two bars of the intro go like this. Okay, so again we have the first two chords as uh, before, so... And then we go into this fill, which is sliding into 14th fret on the A string. And then we go to the D, 12, 14, 12. Back to 14 on the A. And then we go to the... So again, it's playing the D, I'm sorry, the G chord, going to D. And uh, when you go to the D chord, kind of concentrating on the high strings, so you get this higher uh, sound of the, of, the D, of the D chord. So one more time, both bars together. Like that. Alright, so now I'm going to play the whole intro slower, all of the parts together goes like this.
Okay, so after that we go right into the first verse and like I said, the, the chord progression is, stays the same. So we play the same kind of thing but without the fills. So it's more of a, a playing chord. So we have... So occasionally adding this, you know, going from 10 on the A, 13 to 10 on the low E, uh, when you go from the G chord to the D in the second bar. Um, and also kind of concentrating uh, mainly when you play the chords on, on octaves. So it's a, a very subtle touch, you know, it's not the whole chord, it's kind of more quieter. So we play this for a few times and then we have the melody which goes like this. So here on the melody we have 12 frets on the G string and what we do we pick the note, add some vibrato and then um, bending it up gradually. Like that. So you pick uh, the note a few times, then you bend kind of half a step, then a full step. Like that. Just follow the melody. Then we have 10 on G, uh, going to 12 on D, 12 on the A string. Then we have 10 to 12 on the D string. Then we have the first fill. So here, 10 frets on the G string, and uh, we pick it a few times. And if you catch the uh, B string on a 10 fret, that's totally fine. So we have three times picking that these notes. Then we have a pull off 12 to 10 on the G string. And then we bend 13th fret on the B string, adding some vibrato. So kind of uh, bending it up first time, uh, releasing it and playing it one more time. So altogether, this first part slowly is going to be like this. Then second time again, we do the same thing um, on the G string. And then we have so the second ending is slightly different so again we play the 10th fret on the G string and also the uh, on the B string and then we have so it's a double stop 12th fret you pick it first then you bend it up like that and then we have again 10 on G 12 on D 12 on uh, the A string then we have 10 on D and then a quick pull off 12 to 10 on the D string again. So it, um, the second time slower, the second uh, melody uh, it goes like this, slower, slow. Okay, so now again I'm going to play through uh, these few bars of the uh, verse slower with all of the uh, parts and the melody. I'm gonna go like this. And then after that we go into the second verse, so it's exactly the same thing. Now here we have uh, this uh, fill uh, when we play the second time, which is... So it's on the B string 10, 12, 10, hammer on pull off, 
Then we play 12 10 on the G. And then 10 on the D string. This little fill that we play uh, during the second time when we play the, the, the second verse. So again, in the beginning it's exactly the same kind of idea that we did for the first verse. Okay, so after we've played that part uh, for the second verse, then we go into the melody part, but uh, it's going to be different. So instead of playing... We play something else, which goes like this. Alright, so here we have... This lick, which is repetitive. So here we have 12th fret on the uh, G and the B strings. Now it's not, uh, um, you know, necessarily to play the double stop. You can play single uh, notes as well sometimes. So it kind of varies. Sometimes he hits the single note, sometimes the double stop. Um, you know, the main idea here is to get the uh, kind of the essence of the lick. So. 12th fret on a G and a B strings, go into 10th fret, then we have 12th on the D, and then we do the same again. Right, so we do it twice, and then we have 10th fret on the G string, and then we have, so it's two times 12 to 10 on the D, 12th on A string, and then one more time. And then basically we play this part for four times. Now in the very end, <laughs> instead of playing the second time 12-10 on the D12 on uh, the A string, uh, the first time when you play uh, 12 10 to 12, 12 10 on the D to 12 on the A string, then we have so kind of little chromatic here uh, build up. So you go 10, 11, 12 on the D string. Okay, so here is, here is slowly uh, the last bar of, uh, of that transition. And then we go into the next part. The next part is based on four chords, and uh, I'm going to play them through uh, first of all, and then I'm going to break it down. So it goes like this. Okay, so here the chord progression that we have is uh, going D to G to F to C. Now, uh, as, you, as you notice, uh, the first three chords that we play, we play kind of in eighth notes, so we have... And then instead of going to the C chord, Jimmy's playing a little uh, lick, which is... So here what we have is a uh, double stop on the 8th fret of the uh, high E and the B strings. And then we do a grace note hammering on, onto the 10th fret on the B string, while at the same time uh, still fretting the high E on the 8th fret. So we have like that, and then we go back to the first double stop, and then the second hammer on pull off. Um, it's going to be like this. So we have on the 7th fret of the G string and at the same time fretting 8 on B. And what we do, we have a quick hammer on pull off on the G string going 7 to 9. And then uh, the last note is going to be on the 10th fret of the D string. But as you do the hammer on pull off on the G string, at the same time you fret the 8th fret on the B string. So you have this. So all together, 
like that. So that's the lick that we play on the C chord. And then we do it basically for three times. When you do it the third time, the lick is still the same, but the rhythmical approach slightly changes. So Jimmy's playing like that. So instead of grace note, he's playing a hammer on. Still on the same um, on the same strings and the same frets, but instead of playing uh, snappier, quicker, he's just a, a hammer on. And then on the second part, instead of playing this, he's playing so it's a double stop on the 8th fret of the G and the B strings and hammering on onto the 9th fret on the G. So we have like that. And then the last time he just plays the chords. So he plays. And then after that we go into the solo part. Alright guys, so that was it for part one of the lesson. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to continue learning the entire song, check out the link in the description box down below. Thank you very much for checking out my videos. Comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar lessons. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.